Kupriya, I think one of the most disgusting aspects of what we've seen in the last couple of months is these killers and, and these rapists being uh, feted once they came out uh, with laddus, with garlands. Uh, what does this say about a system which talks about protecting women and then allows something like this to take place? Vishnu, I will answer that question. And I have some things to say that I feel very strongly about this evening. I think we as a society have descended to a low which perhaps nobody ever imagined we could. We as people are all right with rapists being paraded to win elections. Why is Ram Rahim out on parole? Why are these 11 people who are not just accused, they have been found guilty of rape and murder. Why are they being paraded to win elections? What does that say about we the people of this country? I think that is also a question we need to ask ourselves. But before I go any further, I have two things to say. This is not about legal. This is not about emotional. This is about the moral compass of our politics and of our people and our leaders. Why is the prime minister quiet? Why are people parading in Gujarat quiet? And I don't think I want to sensationalize this. But I do want to bring certain points for people to understand and people to know what is happening. On the 3rd of March 2002, 11 people in a white car with arms and ammunition entered the house of Bill Kisbanu. You know who did they kill and murder? They gang raped her mother Halima, her cousin Shamim, who had delivered a child two days back. They gang raped her and killed her. They killed her three years later. They killed her two brothers, Irfan and Aslam. They killed her two sisters, Munni and Mumtaz. They killed her aunt, Amina, and also her aunt, Sugra Ben. They killed her uncle, Yusuf, another uncle, Majid. They killed her two cousins, again, Madina and Mumtaz. And they also killed a two-year-old child, two-day-old child, who was not even named. And the child continues to be called Agyat Shishu. The child continues to be called unnamed child. Is this what we are okay with? Are we even debating? Then why is the PM quiet? Should we forget about party lines and come out and say enough is enough? We as a nation fought for Nirbhaya. What has happened to our collective consciousness? We are debating on a prime time show which court she should have gone to and which magistrate she should have gone to and whether she should have come to Supreme Court. This woman since 2002 has borne the brunt of injustice. And look at what we are debating today. I hang my head in shame as a woman. I hang my head in shame as a, somebody in public life. And I say this about our people. It is time we wake up. 